Your girl will not be adding any seasoning to this. This is delicious. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donata White and in today's video, we are reviewing Metabolic Meals, which is a service that delivers pre-prepared meals straight to your door. This is not a sponsored video. I am actually reviewing several of these services because I want to compare them all and let you guys know the pros and cons of each and which one or ones I think are the best ones to try. Let's go to the footage of me actually trying all of this stuff in real time, the unboxing, the tastings. You'll get to see what everything looks like and what I actually thought about it. Okay, so this is a big old box, so I'm gonna open it here on the floor. This is a refreezable gel pack, so that's cool. When we have our chest freezer at the house, this is gonna be pretty great. Then we have some bubble wrap. <laughs> this is packaged pretty nicely. Okay, so they give you this piece of paper that shows you your menu, which is what meals you're supposed to eat on what days. I did also look this up on my account online and I noticed that some days were very, very low calorie and some days were a little bit higher. Either way, I'm gonna have to eat something additional on each day because it's just not quite enough food for me. I do know from working with a health coach and my trainer and from my own experience that I do need a little more food than this, but that's okay, I can add a couple snacks in and then this will just take care of the convenience of me having all of my meals made and having healthy gluten-free options available. So. I think instead of following this exactly, what I'm going to do is sort of categorize them into lower calorie and higher calorie breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then I'm going to mix and match them so that each of the days is sort of the same rather than having some that are like very low and some that are pretty high. So after this little paper, which again just tells you what to eat on what day, which is really convenient if you just want to do it like that, then we have the meals and they come packaged in what looks like recyclable plastic. Yep, there's a number on it. So you can recycle this bottom part and then there is uh, plastic on the top. This is airtight. It's got all the nutrition information as well as the name of the meals. And there's just a lot of meals in here. I gotta get these into the fridge so that I can keep them cold. So what I'm gonna do, because Jeff and I are going away this weekend, I got my delivery on a Thursday and I'm gonna start eating the meals on Monday. These last in the fridge, they say, around five to seven days. But if you're not gonna use them within five days, they do recommend that you freeze them. So because we're gonna be gone for the weekend, the ones that I plan to eat later in the week are gonna go in the freezer. The ones that I plan to eat Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll keep in the fridge. So I'm gonna unbox them and I won't tell you what they are, I'll let you see them as I'm you know, heating them up and eating them, but I'm gonna unbox all of this, sort of put them into breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then I'm gonna see how the calories work out to where I can sort of even them out across all seven days. But gotta get these in the fridge now, so let's do it. Ooh, this is the one I'm really excited about, the sweet potato noodles. So this is day two. Let's get this over here. Day one, day two, so it's Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday. Good morning, everyone. Today is day one of trying out metabolic meals, and the first thing I'm eating is actually not from metabolic meals. I just got back from the gym, and I know that the meals that I'm supposed to eat today, the three meals that were allotted for day one, are not quite enough calories in total, so I'm gonna have to add some things in anyway. Making a couple of these farm fresh eggs that our friends gave us that their hens laid. Jeff wants breakfast too, so I'll just scramble up some eggs, and then we'll start with the metabolic meals later on in the day. My kitchen is a mess. It is a rainy day out. I'm in my sweatpants and my Coffee Date Media t-shirt. My hair is in a towel scrunchie, and I've got a ton of work to do today, but it is 10.30, and that means that it is time to eat second breakfast. I am indeed a hobbit, so <laughs> I can eat breakfast every meal of the day. So my very first metabolic meals meal is grass-fed beef chorizo with sweet potato and cauliflower hash. That sounds like a really good breakfast. So the directions state to make ventilation slits in the film and microwave on high for one to two minutes. Sounds good to me. This has 297 calories, 23 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs. See, 300 calorie meals, I'm gonna need to eat quite a few of those a day. <laughs> I think I calculated it today. Um, with all three of the meals that came for day one, I'm gonna need around 500 extra calories <laughs> a day. So that's a whole extra meal, which is fine because I like eating. So I'm okay with eating multiple times a day. So let's put this in the microwave. Let's try a minute and a half and see how that does. We'll also see if this needs any extra seasoning. 
You know, everybody's got their taste. Some people like things a little bit more simply seasoned. Some people like a lot of seasoning. I am not above putting extra seasoning on these meals. And I will do it if necessary, but let's just taste it without and see how it goes. So this was in for a minute and a half and now I'm peeling the film off the top. The one thing I will say is I wish it had a tab that'll make it easier to pull. It's a little, it's got a little grip on it. <laughs> it's pretty strongly glued on there. So just be careful, eat around that. Don't consume any plastic. Not sure that's healthy. Um, do I love the idea of eating all of my meals from containers? Absolutely not. I like to cook, I like to make fresh food, I like to enjoy, you know, food traditions that my family has been celebrating with for years. But I also love the idea of having something like this to heat and eat when you're super busy, which I am a lot of the time. So let's test this out. That's actually really good. Your girl will not be adding any seasoning to this. This is delicious. Definitely needs a spoon. Um, this is kind of my favorite type of meal, which is things in a bowl with a spoon. So delightful meal number one, metabolic meals. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I will see you guys for lunch. So for lunch, we have the honey mustard glazed wild caught salmon filet with creamy spinach and cauliflower. That sounds bomb. So here's what it looks like all packaged up. Microwave on high one to two minutes. Looks like so far they've all had the same instructions. So that is a good thing, very convenient. Let's see what it looks like when it's done. All right, this one in the microwave for a minute and a half. This one has 417 calories, 41 grams of protein, that's awesome, and 16 grams of carbs. So it's very high protein, very low carb. This looks pretty good. I mean, that's a healthy dose of protein. And I've gotta say, already just two meals in, just having this ready for me during my workday was so convenient and easy and like zero stress. I just got hungry and then heated it up. So dinner day one, I have the cashew chicken stir fry. This has 268 calories, which is not quite enough for dinner, but luckily this is a cooking day. So I have some spicy shrimp, some cauliflower rice and some jasmine rice that I've already made. And I think I'm just gonna supplement my meal with some of that. I'm gonna add some jasmine rice and some shrimp to it and I'll show you the finished plate. All right, so this portion is what came in the metabolic meals and then the jasmine rice and the spicy shrimp I added, but this looks like quite the big meal and well within what I'm supposed to be eating for the day. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy. And that is day one. All right, day two, we have biscuits and gravy casserole with organic free range turkey sausage for breakfast. I'm from the South, so that sounds pretty good. Same instructions, make ventilation slits in the top here and then microwave for one to two minutes. I'm finding that this plastic is pretty hard to remove. So, Keep that in mind if you're thinking of ordering metabolic meals, these films are, I don't think a child would be able to do this without spilling the stuff everywhere. I definitely spilled some of my hash yesterday. Okay, quick taste test because I've got to get some food in my body. This doesn't actually taste like biscuits and gravy. It tastes kind of like Thanksgiving, but I'm into it. Bon appetit, let's go. All right, late lunch. Teriyaki grass-fed beef and broccoli. All of them have very clear labels of like the ingredients, the nutrition facts, and the instructions, which is great. Um, this is just beef and broccoli though, so I'm gonna actually add about a half cup of jasmine rice as well. One of the things I'm finding is that these meals taste really good. They're made with really great ingredients, but eating them out of this plastic container seems very TV dinner, <laughs> which doesn't make it very appealing. So I am putting my meals onto real plates, which is making them somehow infinitely more delicious. Plus I needed to heat up the rice. So I'm just gonna put this teriyaki beef and broccoli over the rice that I heated up. Let's taste it and see how it is. I mean, we know what teriyaki beef and broccoli tastes like, right? Pretty good, not my favorite one so far, but Really good for lunch. Time to grab dinner. The Applewood Heritage pork ragu with sweet potato noodles. This is the one meal I was most excited about. So let's try it. This definitely has bacon in it, which is why it's pretty incredible. The more I eat this, the more I like it. 
this is definitely one of the favorites so far. Although there's a flatbread breakfast pizza coming, which I hear from Tracy is like the thing. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy. See you tomorrow. All right, day three in today's breakfast is peppered turkey bacon and Italian sausage breakfast pizza, which sounds mind blowing. I've not followed the instructions exactly. I've heated it up for 30 seconds and then I'm going to put it in the oven under the broiler to like crisp it up because that's the whole point of pizza is like crispy, cheesy goodness. Look at the macros on this though. Pretty excited about this. And this is a good sized portion. So let's put it in the oven for a little bit and then we'll see what it's done. As with anything in the broiler, you gotta keep your eye on it so it doesn't burn. I'm eating it with a fork because the crust is like not as crispy as desired, but. Huh? Tastes really good though. What instruction did you not follow? <laughs> so, like all of the other metabolic meals, this said to heat in the microwave for one to two minutes on high. But, as Jeff knows, because he learned from an Italian immigrant pizza man in New York City, you cannot reheat pizza in the microwave, you have to use the oven. Otherwise, like, you're gonna end up with a mess that you have to eat with a fork. So this tastes really good, but I would definitely not microwave it. I would only reheat it in the oven. I would not even microwave for the 30 seconds, just bite the bullet, use the oven. For lunch, We have Mexican grass-fed shredded beef with beans and rice. I mean, I think that speaks for itself. All right, so this smells insane, but this is one of the ones that's definitely gonna be staying in the container for the duration of the meal, because that beef is juicy, and I don't wanna risk losing any of that upon transfer. Dinner tonight is oven-roasted turkey with sherry wine sauce and herb-roasted tricolor potatoes. I am really feeling these potatoes right now. Look guys, I cleaned my kitchen. It really happens, it happens every day. I clean it up every day and then mysteriously when Jeff gets home, the kitchen is dirty again. Wonder how that happens. Okay, so turkey. Listen, I was not really feeling the lean protein thing but this turkey is bomb. And potatoes. This is like pure comfort food. I was probably the least excited about this meal and it's so good. Maybe I'm just hungry, but I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. So let's go back a couple of videos to talk about why I'm even trying these services to begin with. A couple of videos ago, in the video where I changed my hair, I mentioned that I'm having somewhat of an entrepreneur crisis <laughs> in that my role has changed at Coffee Date Media and I've stepped more into a CEO role where I'm more managing things and my lifestyle is having to change to match that change in role. And along with all of that, in my real life, it has come to the point where I don't have the time to cook and prepare meals like I used to. Now I love to cook, so I will probably once or twice a week make a meal for me and Jeff, but because of our work schedules, it has just become so difficult to cook every single meal myself. Jeff does not cook, so I'm kind of responsible for making sure we have food in the fridge. And now because of his shift, he eats four meals a day. I like to eat three or four times a day, and that's just a lot of meals over the course of a week. And we're trying to cut back on eating out to save some money and you know, for health reasons. One of the things that I'm doing this year that I have had trouble with in the past is asking for help when I need it. Of course, my first thought is, well, I could just ask my mom because she lives 20 minutes away and if I asked her, she would totally cook our meals for us. And then I thought, no, Donata, that is not a nice idea. Don't get your mom to cook all of your meals for you. Don't think I won't be going over there for dinner once a week or more, but I'm not asking my mom to cook all of our meals for us. So the other options are buy pre-prepared food at the grocery store, get a service like HelloFresh, that sends ingredients to your door, but you still have to cook them. Even though the meals are around 30 to 40 minutes to make, that still involves me getting in the kitchen to cook meals. And if I wanted to cook something in 30 minutes, I could totally do that on my own. There's the option of getting a personal chef, which is expensive, but not as expensive as I thought it was. And that is definitely an option that I'm open to in the future because I think that would be really awesome. The option that seemed like the best choice at this time was to go with a pre-prepared meal service that sends meals to your door 
already ready to go in containers that you could just put in the fridge or freezer and heat up when you need them. So how I did this was I chose the services that I'm gonna try. They are metabolic meals, factor meals, icon meals, balance bites meals, and freshly. If there are others that you want me to try, please leave them in a comment because I am definitely willing to try more services, but I think that's a good number to start with. And I chose to do the reviews this way because I just wanted to compare the services and the pricing. I'm just choosing what the meal service offers as like their chef's box or their basic option and then having them ship it and I'm trying it out. So let's move on specifically to metabolic meals. This is the first one that I tried because this is the service that my friend Tracy Timberlake loves and she uses as her main um, meal service when she's at home. Metabolic meals works like this. You choose how many days you want them to provide meals for and you choose which meals you want them to give you. So let's say they have a three, a five and a seven day option and you can choose breakfast, lunch, dinner, and or snacks. So what I chose was the seven day option, three meals a day, and I had them send all of the meals for a whole week in a box to my apartment. Ordering was super easy. You just choose the number of days, you choose if you have any dietary restrictions, and then you click your ship date, and that's when it arrives to your house. It was like, five or seven days after I ordered, the meals were at my door. So the delivery dates are pretty close to when you can actually order, which is fantastic. The one thing I would say to be aware of is that when you order, Metabolic Meals will subscribe you to that plan week after week after week. What you can do if you want this plan week after week after week and you wanna subscribe, just make sure that you have your, inf your card information and you're on the right volume week after week. So if you want three days worth of lunches and dinners a week, just make sure that your plan is set at that volume. If you don't want your meals every week, if you just wanna have some in the freezer and reorder when you're ready to have more in the freezer, you have to skip your weeks, much like any other subscription service. You have to go into your account and skip your weeks. Or they'll give you an account manager when you sign up and you can email that person and say, hey, I don't want to be subscribed. I wanna just order when I want to. And there's some magic that they do on their end to your account that means that you can order when you want to instead of being subscribed to the plan. So my account manager, Andrew, has been fantastic. He put me on the plan where I can just order when I want instead of having to cancel every week. And then if you forget, oops, it's another, you know, however many hundred dollar charge on your account. What I love about these meals is that they're all gluten-free, they're very, very healthy ingredients. So when you flip them over and actually look at what's in the meals, you can pronounce everything, you recognize all the ingredients, they're extremely tasty. I mean, there's taste testing in this video, but metabolic meals, meals were very, there was not a single one that I didn't like. They were delicious, they were actually seasoned, so they were made by somebody who knows how to cook. <laughs> The packaging was nice and compact. They fit great in the freezer. They were easy to heat up, easy to you know eat, easy to clean up. And it was basically everything I was looking for. The downsides were that they were a little pricey. On your first order, you do get a discount, but that second order, be ready <laughs> because it is not cheap. So if you're somebody who lives alone, you don't like cooking for one person, this is a great option for you because they do have breakfasts, lunches, and dinners available. Some of the other services only do lunches and dinners, they don't do breakfast. So this is a great option for somebody who just does not wanna cook for one person, they just wanna have the meals in the fridge and they want a great variety, they want everything to taste good and be really healthy and ready for them. But that brings me to my second point. Metabolic Meals has two options for meal sizes, which the other services that I looked at do not. They have an option with lower calorie meals and an option with higher calorie meals. Be aware of which one you pick because for me, even though I chose three meals a day for seven days in a week, I chose the lower calorie meals because I just wanted smaller portions and I didn't wanna go over and be eating too much every day. But I chose the smaller portions and it worked out to where I had to have a whole extra meal every day just to have enough calories. So I can imagine this being great for like a bodybuilding competitor or a fitness competitor where you're really monitoring what you're eating for your sport and you don't wanna eat chicken and rice and broccoli for every single meal. These meals are delicious, provide a great variety, and the lower calorie meal plan was low enough that I could eat a whole meal on top of what I was sent and I was still sort of in a calorie reduced 
diet range. The lower calorie plan is great for somebody who wants to maybe lose weight or wants to at least monitor what they're eating and they wanna be very restrictive on that. I did not try the higher calorie version, but I'm assuming they're just bigger portions of the exact same meals. This was a strong first contender out of the five that I'm trying and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. The food was great. I really liked what they sent me to eat. I liked that they gave me a little piece of paper to tell me exactly what I was supposed to eat on what days. I didn't love the pricing. It's a little bit expensive, but if you end up trying to order metabolic meals, you'll be able to see the price per meal and decide whether or not that's appropriate for you and your budget. Um, but I really liked this. This is gonna be the one to beat. I mean, I know it's the first one, but I really enjoyed it. So metabolic meals, you did a great job. I would consider ordering from you again. Maybe not right now with my tiny fridge because I think instead of doing a meal plan where I'm only eating metabolic meals for every meal for a week, what I would love to do is have a smaller plan where I just keep the meals in the fridge for convenience sake and order some extra maybe of the larger size for Jeff to take with him to work. So I would consider ordering again. I would not consider doing the seven days a week three meals a day plan again, just because that's not gonna fit our needs. But now that I'm on the you know, a la carte or order whenever you want sort of plan, thanks to my account manager, I can just order whatever I want. So I can keep these stocked in the fridge if I want to, but first I have four more services to try. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss another meal service review. I've got more kinds of other videos coming as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.